Okay, so we went over how to process camera raw images in class, but I figured it'd be nice to give you guys a little video here to help remind you about some of the stuff we did. So I'm gonna choose this photo here to demonstrate what some of the, the stuff that we'd worked with. Uh, in this image, we have our obvious subjects, which are these two ladies on the bikes uh, coming in for an obstacle here. And the light behind them is really cool and kind of evocative, makes a neat backdrop, but it's also a, a little bit distracting. So we need to find a way to make them more apparent and this complement what they're doing. So what we're gonna do, let's take that into Camera Raw. So I'm gonna just do this via the right click and then open in Camera Raw. Oop, I have to do it a different way. So I have to go via Photoshop on mine, so. Okay, so first things first, remember we come up here and we start with our cropping to make sure that we only have the most important part of the frame in here. I want this to stay fairly normalized to what we what I shot it at. So I'm gonna make sure the crop is set to two to three. And then I'm just going to pull this in, and make sure I'm only getting the best part of this frame. I can even bring this, yeah. Kind of right there below that one. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit return to accept. And then that brings me into a lot better. They're a lot more focused in the frame uh, and it also gets rid of some extra stuff on the sides. Just to show you, I mean, like what, what I just got rid of was like a person kind of creeping in and just some space down here that really was being used. Now, if I wanted, I could pull this down farther and give them a little more space to run into. And I think it looks fine that way as well. So it's just completely up to what you want. Uh, you know, if, uh, if you like having the sense of the journey in coming up so that you have a little more of that green edge up here would also create a frame. And that's what, what we're looking for is the things that accentuate that story to the point where we like it. I might go a little bit looser just for now, just so that I can see some more, okay? So I'm looking at my histogram. Most of the information is tipped to the dark end. And then I do have some information that's light, but that's just this stuff back here, which is actually you know only a few different tones and colors. So uh, not a, not a hard, hard one to see there. So let's zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna click and drag with the zoom tool right over them. Brings them closer up. Spacebar allows me to bring up the hand tool on the fly. And I can get them a little better centered in there. Okay, so I'm looking at them and I'm noticing that the light's a little bit blue. So what I wanna do is actually add just a little bit of warmth. And the nice thing about that is, one, it makes their skin tone look good, but two, it also accentuates that golden glow from behind them. So let's zoom out. That's command minus. And you can see, so that's plus 10. Here's where I'm starting. And if I go up to 10, it's where I'm ending. Another neat trick. If you press the preview off and on a couple times, you can just see what you're getting from there. Okay. So at this point, I've got two things set. One's the crop, and the second is the temperature of the frame, uh, somewhat the mood, yeah? And if we look at the full image here, you can see colder, warmer. And by going just a little bit warmer, I integrate them with this color back here, which makes it a lot less distracting to what they're doing. You know, before they're separated, but the interest is in the back. Here, they're all integrated and, and have uh, a, a bit of commonality to each other. In the next video, we're going to look at uh, how we're gonna change the tones to accentuate and to bring out the two writers.